How's it going guys? We're here at the Honey Creek Primitive Baptist Church. Hope everybody's doing well. We're gonna check out the headstone of the first minister here who started in 1827 and uh, preached for nearly 60 years. This is his wife, right here. And she's on the same stone he was, or he is. For 60 years, pastor of this Baptist church. Which is right there. Uh, that wasn't born in, uh, that wasn't built in uh, 1827. Uh, that building's newer. The very original church actually got partially demolished by a tornado in the 1850s. Little outbuilding here, cinder block. But, uh, This is at the Pleasant View Cemetery. A lot of very historic graves. And again, we're filming here in super wide, so it kind of looks a lot different <laughs> on the video, I'm sure, than in real life. But another, this is actually the outhouses right here. Actually, can I go? There we go. I, that's one times. So I can go one times in the middle. So that's, I guess, a little more realistic. But I kind of like the super wide. So here's the outhouses. Yikes. Yeah. So that is what it is. But a lot of stones from the late 1700s. I saw one from 1799. And uh, so pretty incredible. A lot of early 1800s. A lot of pre-Civil War in here. There's the church. Amazing, it's still standing, it's wide open. Red brick, the very, very worn uh, roof. Amazing that roofing is still held up over all the years and the wear and tear it's gotten. But uh, they haven't even put any wood in the windows. It's still wide open. Done like this for a long time. Oh, there it goes down to your basement. Jesus. Unbelievable. Can't believe that's wide open. We may come back around the other side, but. Here we go, Mike. Check out this breaker box. That is old. Very old. It's not had power for a long time. Look at all the glass out of the windows. Wow. Take a look. Pretty crazy. The smell of decay in here, pretty astronomical. The uh, floor is extremely dangerous. Wow. 
there's your stage. Take a look at that ceiling. So yeah, with the roofing and the condition it is, only a matter of time. It's already clearly got a lot of moisture coming in. But you can really see pretty good. Let's look at the holes in the floor. Unbelievable. They haven't done a thing to seal it up. Oh yeah. Wow. That is pretty rough. That flooring is absolutely done. Oh, you can see straight up to the rafters. You can smell the de deep decay in here. Rotting wood and the uh, probably as best as sheeting. Gotta love it. So, foundationally, doesn't look bad. Pretty good shape. See some of the sheetrock. What is with the traffic on this really remote deserted area? You know, honestly. But we aren't going to be walking around in there. Don't really need to. Pretty good view. Anyway, let's go around to the front. It's pretty rough. Here's your entrance. Oh, yeah. There's your vacuum right there. And holes right there in the front and the entrance. Really no telling how long it's been abandoned, but surely a few decades like this. No longer has a sign in the front that used to say Honey Creek. But that door is surely unlocked. Coming around to face the north side. Clear blue sky. This building is really sitting quite compromised. Ooh. There's the sun and a lot of shingles on the ground here. Some of the glass still on the uh, windows. Another view. Oh yeah, the decay, very, very strong. Look at that. You can see uh, the brickwork, the interior is starting to collapse and all the holes in that floor, unbelievable. Just look at that, a lot of mold as well. Some of the green paint on the walls. Yeah, what you're smelling is that mildew, that wet, saturated wood. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, one more look here from the other side, guys. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much see all we need to see there. But uh, there's a chimney. Pretty good shape here on the uh, western side. You can see the top part was rebuilt at some point. This back area in a lot better condition. Again, crazy that door to the basement's wide open. Pretty crazy. There's the moon right up there, but... What a trip. Thanks for coming along. 
taking a look at the abandoned Honey Creek Primitive Baptist Church. Take care, guys.